All right, everybody, welcome to the broadcast. You are watching Team Winston 17 and under take on NC Court Kings here from Greensboro, North Carolina. I am Marcus Shockley with Netcast Sports, and we will get you up to speed on the teams and who you're watching as the game progresses. Team Winston wearing the road jerseys in this one, and NC Court Kings wearing the home whites. Right now we're watching uh, McCall Seals take on uh, sorry, I was watching the score there. 15-23 left to play. First score of the game for NC Court Kings. And now here's McCall Seals, number three, running the point for Team Winston. Gives it over to Jay McCorkle, number four, down in the corner to Charles Norman. Seals drives, kicks out to Norman. Norman drives, slices up, under, and score for Team Winston. And they pull within one here early in the game. No running clock today. These events, we are looking at full stoppages of play. And this is the, the winner of the secondary elimination black bracket, I guess, the loser bracket. Rebound by McCorkle. He pushes the ball. Gets it over to Michal Seals. Seals spins, turns, tries to get back to McCorkle. Block inside to Akai Pruitt. Pruitt turning, turns to his left, goes over the top. No good. Both teams trying to feel each other out here early. Figure out what they might be able to do. We're in the port number right now. Lacey Gaddings, number 10. Feed inside to Akai Pruitt. Blocked. That's going to send Pruitt to the line. Pruitt, a six foot seven junior from R.J. Reynolds High School, playing for Team Winston here this AAU season. Pruitt's second shot is good. Right here to number 11, Cameron Alston, right in front of us. Trying to feed the ball inside there to Aridas Gadratis. Turnover going the other way now. Both of these teams have had a solid, solid outing today. And are still playing here late on day three. Charles Seals driving, slicing, but there, there was a stoppage there. Cameron Austin bringing the ball up for the NC Court Kings. Working against Charles Norman. Norman, who's been playing a lot of three for Team Winston, but can run the one or the two. Another deep shot good for NC Court Kings. Now Jay McCorkle with the deep three. And he is known for that ability to shoot the three. Jay McCorkle, a junior at Mount Tabor High School in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. You're watching the 2015 Phenom Hoops Challenge from Prolific Park in Greensboro, North Carolina. 
I am Marcus Shockley with Netcast Sports, and we appreciate everyone joining us today. I'd like to let you know that if you want to find out all the games that we're broadcasting throughout the AAU season, you can check out Netcast Sports on Twitter. If you look at your scoreboard right now, you can see our Twitter handle at Netcast Sports. And Netcast Sports, as we announced, because the AAU season is fluid and we don't always know who's going to be playing when, we do our best to try to keep people updated as best we can on our Twitter handle. So please give us a follow and we will keep you up to speed. Cameron Austin working, bringing the ball up. There's been a change in the roster for Team Winston. Greatest to inbound. The 6'6 player gets it outside now back to Cameron Austin. I'm sorry, that's Lacey Gaddings. Gaddings drives, shoots over the taller Pruitt. Pruitt with the rebound. Now here's Michal Seals, very good in transition. Gets it outside to Charles Norman, works it back to McCorkle. McCorkle all the way to the other side with the pass. And that shot is good, and I believe that's Gregory. Just like that team, Winston pulls back into it. Yeah, Kyle Gregory, number 14, ties the game up, 9-all. They may have counted that as a two, I'm not sure. McCorkle again. That time, a bit of an ill-advised rush shot over two players. McCorkle is a very good three-point shooter, however. And now... Lacey Gaddings out of Greensboro, North Carolina, running the point. Court Kings working the ball around. Deep shot outside by Lacey Gaddings. No good. Another deep outside shot by McCorkle and Team Winston with I Akai Pruitt, number 10, with the putback. So Team Winston went down early, but they've been able to gather themselves, get back into this. Kyle Gregory working on the outside. Drive by Gaddings inside. No good. Picked up by Mitchell Seals. Good in transition. Looks to find a teammate. Finds Pruitt. Ball is stripped and out of bound, and that's going to be a stoppage of the clock. So NC Court Kings and Team Winston. These teams are actually, the players are actually pretty familiar with each other just in general because uh, the Court Kings are based... I think mostly in Greensboro. And while Team Winston is obviously based around Winston-Salem, North Carolina, so they're sort of sister cities almost, only about 15 minutes apart, the cities. That shot is good. McCorkle over to Norman, back to McCorkle. Finds now Chris Freeman on the inside over to Mounts. Freeman and Mounts coming in at the last change. Here we are looking. Lacey Gaddings in front of us. Number 10 working is Charles Norman. Got no good rebound by Chris Freeman. Freeman wants to push the ball, looks to split the two defenders and up and jam by Chris Freeman. And the foul. Chris, Chris Freeman hasn't been in the game but a minute, and he already decided to catch a body. He knew that one on three break, a lot of coaches might have been thinking, uh, <laughs> bad idea. Chris Freeman said, don't worry, I got this. Freeman gets the and one. Norman picks up defense in the backcourt. Cameron Austin, number 11, with the ball. A 
Beat inside to Gudredis. Up, under, and no good. And Aridas Gudredis, the six foot six senior from Thomasville, North Carolina, ties it up with his first free throw, and he's got a shot on his second here. And that bounces around, no good. Rebounded by Clay Mounts, gets it out to Jalen Gore. Gore inside to Freeman. Freeman playing at high post, drives up under that time, no good. No foul call, but AC Court Kings are able to pull it up now. Pressure in the backcourt, and Charles Norman gets it and slapped away. By Jalen Wall, number 15. But he's going to foul Charles Norman. Charles Norman. And for those of you who remember uh, who came to the Basketball Elite Summer Showcase that I put together in the summer, Charles Norman is our reigning dunk champion. Steps to the line here. So he's an explosive guard. Can play the one, the two. And out here he's playing a lot of three. Unfortunately, he can't find the first free throw. So 0 for 2 from the line there for Charles Norman, but he immediately picks up full court defense. Deep in the corner. Mounts almost got the ball. Now he does. Jalen Gore able to pick it up. Number 12, Gore. Wants to push it. Kicks it ahead. Finds Norman. Now here's Freeman. Freeman drives. Slices up under. And he's going to draw the foul, I believe. But Freeman is having very good success early by putting the ball on the floor. Had a little trouble going against the multiple defenders on the second time he touched the ball. But... Not any active shooting here. Freeman to inbound the ball under the basket. Chris Freeman with the three, so immediately making an impact early in this game with the dunk. Three-point play, a steal, and now a three-pointer for Chris Freeman. Jalen Wall over to, I believe that's number, is that number three, Tyler Thompson or Jordan Harris? Couldn't make it out there. The foul is Clay Mounts. Knocked to the floor hard as he drove between two defenders. Six foot six clay mounts to the line from Mount Airy High School. As Gudredis drives. Stolen. Here we go up ahead to. Sorry, number five, Terrell Adams. Up and score for Team Winston. And now things are really going Team Winston's way. And the NC Court Kings want to talk things over. They've seen enough.
All right, so we have 16-minute halves here at the NC. I'm sorry, the Phenom Hoops Challenge at Prolific Park in Greensboro, North Carolina. If you want to know more about Phenom Hoops, the first place I would suggest you start is by following them on Twitter at Phenom underscore Hoops. If you look at your scoreboard right now, at the bottom you can see their Twitter handle, Phenom underscore Hoops, run by Phenom Hoop Report, one of the best organizations in the country that runs AAU and basketball events. And I highly recommend you check them out, give them a follow, and find out what's going on with Phenom Hoop Report. Mounts call for the foul. Second shot coming up for Tyler Thompson, number three out of Greensboro. Five foot ten, twenty sixteen guard. And his second shot is good. Jalen Gore beats the defender, drives, kicks it outside to Chris Freeman. Freeman's shot no good. Now going the other way, NC Court Kings. Took an early lead, but now all the momentum has switched over to Team Winston. So NC Court Kings called a timeout, and they want to get things going back over to them. See if they can get things going back their way. Over to Tyler Thompson. And now Court King's content to do a little motion out here on the outside as Lacey Gaddings takes the ball back, drives, slides underneath, up over the top, and good for Lacey Gaddings. A foul on Chris Freeman, uh, not on Chris Freeman. Chris Freeman draws the foul. So he's shown a, a lot of aggressiveness here early. Came off the bench and immediately has provided a spark for Team Winston. And he's going back to the line. So, so far, coming off the bench, Chris Freeman has been an impact player for Team Winston. As we see Akai Pruitt coming back in, number 10. And we see number 15, Matt Edwards. Matthew Edwards, who plays for Forsyth Country Day in Louisville. And he comes in off the bench. And Freeman's second shot is good. Now here's Edwards picking up at three-quarters court. Jay McCorkle now on D. NC Court Kings looking to drive the ball. Ball stripped and saved by Machal Seals. All great in transition, as I said. Up, under, and score for Machal Seals. And now Team Winston really, really getting control of this game. Tyler Thompson working against Mitchell Seals gives it up to the far side. Matthew, Matthew Edwards comes up. Pick being set there by number 35, Tobias Edwards. Three point no good. Matt Edwards with the rebound. He's going to keep it. And we've got a turnover. Once again, my name is Marcus Shockley with Netcast Sports. If you were so inclined, you want to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is M underscore Shockley. You can see it on the scoreboard there underneath. And uh, mostly talk about basketball. As we watch Lacey Gaddings here working against Matthew Edwards. We do a lot of broadcast during the year and uh, scouted players for a long time. And foul on a Kai Pruitt. But most of these guys I'm very familiar with. Have seen them for several years. And if you're still inclined, you could give me a follow. And uh, sometimes I will tweet out as many players as I can that I think are college level. However, I will point out the fact that normally we have better announcers for our games. So you don't have to worry about always watching the game and think you're going to be hearing me. Normally we have people who are actually good. 
Lacey Gaddings now running the point, working against Jim McCorkle. There's a foul on the outside there on McCorkle. Team Winston trailed right out of the right out of the tip, but now has taken a, a good lead and does not look like they're willing to relinquish it without a fight at this point. But still early, 16-minute halves, no running clock, normal stoppages of play. If you've watched some of our other broadcasts, you know the only time they go to a running clock in this event is if one of the team gets up, teams get up by 30. And this is the championship game of the losing bracket, I guess, if you were to say in a double elimination style of play. Team Winston, it was actually thought they would maybe be in the title game, so they lost early to, um, or lose, lost early, I guess, on the first day. Corkle over to Michal Seals. Seals driving, loses a handle, and has a turnover. NC Cork keeps going the other way. Nice little Euro step and score. Looked like McCorkle might have drawn a foul, but didn't get the call. Three-pointer for Michal Seals. Michal Seals is a point guard with a lot of college interest. He's also come to my summer showcase at Basketball Elite. And I like him a lot as a person and as a player. Rebound by Akai Pruitt. It's it up to McCorkle. McCorkle driving. Decides to pull it out. It's to Seals. Seals. Little feed inside to Pruitt and score for Team Winston. 30-18 to 18 now in favor of Team Winston. And they're really firing on all cylinders. Both with the players coming in off the bench and with the players who started the game. NC Court Kings looking for some answers here as Lacey Gaddings walks the ball up, comes in the corner. You have to like Gaddings as a, as a point guard, but right now they're just not able to get, get the buckets they need. And here he is from the elbow. No good rebound. Charles Norman started to take off. Ball stripped. Ball stripped back. Dive on the floor, and that's going to be out of bounds. Ball stripped there by number 15, Jalen Wall, as Norman started to take off down the floor. But a lot of hands, a lot of hands grabbing for the ball. Charles Seals. Seals a really solid point guard. Starts for High Point Christian Academy. A little surprising there that uh, that Gudredis passed up that, that shot from about 12 feet. Gave his defender time to close on him, but he still scored. Feed and score inside, and Team Winston just right now is really on a roll, up by 12 now, with under two minutes left to play here in the first. Charles Seals directing traffic. Kyle Gregory tried to set the pick, but it didn't materialize. And we've got to travel. Court Kings would like to cut into this lead before the half, and that's going to help with the three from outside. With about a minute to go here, here's Michal Seals. Matt Edwards there in the post at the high, po high post. Now flashes outside, leaving nobody inside the paint there as 
Kyle Gregory comes up to the high post. There's Charles Norman. They're really working around. No shot clock, so they don't. They're not pressed to to run a play. They just they want the best play, and they've got a they've got a lot of time here. They got the lead. They're up by seven. They are more than willing to wait. Inside to Matt Edwards. Out of McCorkle. Really, the only thing the Court Kings can do at this point to force the issue if they want to is come out, but they'd rather wait. They know that they're going to probably go into their offense with about seven or six seconds at any rate. And they got a foul on the outside. I'm not sure if it's what they wanted to do. That foul called on Jordan Harris, the 2015 senior. And that's going to send Michelle Seals to the line. Carl Seals holds a couple of a couple of college offers. Battle for it inside, up, under, and score for Team Winston. So really they could not they could not ask for a better close to the half. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, we're back here about to start the second half here between the NC Court Kings and Team Winston. 34 to 25 in favor of Team Winston over the NC Court Kings here in it'll be the final game for these two teams, I believe. Third day of action here in Greensboro, North Carolina. Rebound and back up and good for Gadratis. Charles Seals feeding inside to Gregory. But Gregory wasn't expecting the pass, and now NC Court Kings going the other way. Stop. Deep shot from outside, and that is good. And just like that, the NC Court Kings have climbed all the way back into this game after being down quickly. Well, I wouldn't say they were down quickly, down by a lot. They, they took an early lead, and now a steal there. Scoop and no good. Got a little too fancy with the, with the layup there, I think. But nice steal by Jalen Wall, the six foot six junior. So now only down by four, NC Court Kings. Would have liked to have had that layup, but they, they weren't able to get it. So, so now here's Mitchell Seals. Jordan Harris matched up against Seals. Now drifts over the other side. Looks like they've grown back into a, sort of a soft zone. Kyle, Kyle Gregory outside to McCorkle. McCorkle shot no good. Very reliable from out there. Couldn't find the range that time. Here's Cameron Alston drives, decides to keep it up and score. Nice play there by Alston. Turned his body to protect the ball from the defender and was able to score. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Team Winston wants to talk things over as the lead has, if they've seen their lead evaporate down to just two points. In just a couple of minutes here in Winston-Salem. And I'd like to talk to you about BasketballElite.com. Now, if you look at your scoreboard, you can see the website BasketballElite.com. We've run BasketballElite.com for several years now, and we don't just cover AAU. We cover a lot of other things, international, NBA, college, sports business. If you love basketball, you'll love Basketball Elite. So I hope you'll check it out. So Team Winston, a corkle over here to inbound. They were really clicking there in the first half, but now, now they've seen that that lead just disappear. Or they won't. They, I mean, they still hold the lead by two, but they've seen that they they were up by maybe 12 at one point. Over to Norman. 
Now he's working. Working against Jordan Harris. Like I said, NC Court Kings look like they're having a little bit of success with this zone. And there's another defensive play. Got the turnover. So now the Court Kings have climbed, not only have they climbed all the way back into the game, now they have a chance to tie or take the lead with this possession. Now Chris Freeman back in the game, number 11, was a big factor in that first half. Came in and it was immediately provided some offense and some aggressive play. And there's a deep three by the Court Kings. So the team Winston now, they've seen that lead disappear completely. And they've got to figure out what they're going to do. Mitchell Seals with the ball. Here's Norman, gets caught too strong on the baseline, throws the ball away, and now we're going the other direction. And now the Court Kings have started to stretch that lead a little bit, so sticking with it. Seals over to McCorkle. McCorkle into Freeman. Let's see what he can do. Turn, stop of the keys, turn, score for Chris Freeman. So Freeman was really the, one of the big factors they were able to come back and take that lead in the first half, and right away he comes in and provides some more offense right from the elbow. Pedretis working against Freeman. Wants to use his size. And that's going to put him on the line. We got one more shot coming, I think. For Gudratis. Charles Seals. Now, T. Winston got to figure out their offense. Probably want to look at going back inside to, to Freeman, even though Freeman is playing out of position at the four spot. Freeman pulls his man aside, and there's Mounts inside for the score, and he's going to have a chance for the three-point play. Six foot six Clay Mounts. Full court pressure now being shown by Team Winston. Court Kings able to get it across the half court and go into their offense. see what Team Winston has in mind. Now they've cut the lead back down to one. That's right. Here's Freeman. Freeman driving. Kicks it back outside to Adams. Adams shot no good. Rebound by Mounts. He tries to put it back up and good. And in, but no good. And so it looks like uh, Lacey Gaddings was able to control possession and, and it went out on Team Winston. And now Gaddings started to bring it up, gives it up, and now he gets it back. His team Winston wants to show full court pressure. And it works. Michelle Seals getting the getting the steal. We've got a player down in the backcourt as Clay Mouse with the dunk. On the other end, and Team Winston takes the lead. 11-34. And we've got to stop it in play now as we have an injured NC Court King player. Team Winston going to talk things over, and our player here seems like he's able to get off under his own power. Eleven thirty-four left to play here in the second.
second half. A little bit of a circus shot there, but good. The Court Kings, they go back in front by one. Jalen Gore had to chase that ball down. Now over here to Seals. Seals tried to split the defenders. Stolen. And scored just like that. And I think the Court Kings have pulled that. And I believe that was Tyler Thompson with steal. Team Winston held the lead. Now a couple of turnovers back to back. And that's going to be a charge. It's going to be a charge on Cameron Austin, who got the steal at midcourt, and then he's he's arguing. I guess we don't we don't have the little circle there, the charge circle here at, at today's action, but I believe he believes that was good. More of a block than a charge. Chris Freeman driving, showing that aggression, not able to score. Court Kings come away with it. Trap here on the near sideline. And we got a timeout here as Lacey Gaddings had nowhere to go. Team Winston trailing by three. About ten and a half left. You guys know you can find out more about Phenom Hoop Report at phenomhoopreport.com. If you look at your scoreboard right now, you can see the address URL right there, phenomhoopreport.com. You can find out about all of their upcoming events and write-ups and a whole lot of other great stuff about the AAU season. We fully support all the Phenom Hoop Report events, and we hope you'll check them out. Court King still holding on to that three-point lead as Lacey Gaddings working against the bigger clay mounts. Mounts moves his feet well, stays in front of him. That shot too short, and we're going the other way as Gore is going to bring it up. So Chris Freeman going to inbound here right in front of us. Seals all the way across to Adams and then finally back around here to Seals. Score inside by Gore. Cuts the lead to one. Court King's wasting no time to get back up, put their stretch that lead back out to three. Seals once again driving inside. I believe he's going to be able to shoot a couple here. I believe this is the third or fourth game. This, well, I guess counting AAU, this would be at least the fourth game that we've broadcast for Seals running the point. Both for High Point Christian Academy and now for Team Winston. Over here to 
with Tyler Thompson right in front of us being guarded by Jalen Gore. Thompson pushes it down to the corner. Shot a no good rebounded by Pruitt. Here's Gore driving, slicing up under the lane, and no good. Rebounded by Pruitt, put back, no good. Mouse tried to do the same thing, and neither one of them were able to put it back. And now we've got a steal in the midcourt and a stoppage in play. That length of Team Winston really giving the NC Court Kings a problem. The Seals finally gets a breather over here. Where we saw uh, Court Kings playing a zone. Now you see Winston playing a very loose zone. And the best way to break a zone is shoot over the top of it, which is exactly what the NC Court Kings just did. Now here's Pruitt. Spun had no defender but wasn't able to finish there. I think he got excited when he turned and saw both defenders had, had cut away. And we've just reached the halfway point through the half. The halfway through the half, which is hard to say. Back over here to Tyler Thompson, working against Jalen Gore. Here's Lacey Gaddings in the backcourt with the ball, number 10. And he's working against Pruitt. That might be a mismatch as Gaddings is smaller and Pruitt Although the thing is, Pruitt is playing the, uh, playing a big man, but Pruitt's probably more of a small forward, power forward. Big block by Mounts. Clay Mounts, number nine. Gathings, number 10, working. Pruitt's coming out on him. Gathings wants to drive, but Pruitt moves his feet well. And that's one thing about this Team Winston squad is they don't have a lot of bruisers inside, but they've got a lot of great athletic length. So these, these big men they have are really more forwards. And they can defend even against some of the, some of the guards, some of the wings, I guess, would be more accurate to say that. Run a, run a few minutes here without Winston being able to score. There's Freeman. Nice pass inside to Pruitt, and he's fouled. Hard foul. Sends Pruitt to the floor. And that's going to send Pruitt to the line. He hasn't had a great shooting day from the line. But he's got a chance to, for two more right here. Right on cue. Pruitt's got one more coming. Couple of chances there for Court Kings. They couldn't finish. So now Team Winston, Brian McElveen went up and was able to push the ball up and Winston was able to score. So even though Team Winston went a couple of minutes without much offense, they're still down by only two here. It's a little over six to go. And now Team Winston wanted to show trap. Deep in the corner, they've had luck from there all day and they still have great shooting touch from that corner over there. 
You see Seals back in the game after a brief, brief rest. Over to McElveen. There's Pruitt now playing the po high post as Mounts has moved down to the low post. Pruitt puts the ball on the floor, slides up under, and score for Akai Pruitt. Much needed bucket there for Team Winston. Foul, I believe, on McElvey. Not a shooting foul, I don't believe. We see Matt Edwards come back in. Matthew Edwards from South Country Day School. 2016 player. A quick score for the Court Kings, and I believe that was Gudredis. He's been pretty solid. And as far as in this game, he's the closest to a true post player I think we've got out here today. Like a true center, I mean. Here's a feed inside to Pruitt and a dunk. And Pruitt's just got a lot of explosiveness and size, length. Very quick, hard for the, for the other bigs to keep up with him. And you can see him right now, he's picking up the point guard, number 10. Pruitt, 10 on 10, Lacey Gaddings running the point. And Pruitt defending. Here you saw somebody yell out and one. I don't think you can have an and one unless a, unless a bucket is made. <laughs> and uh, Gaddings at the line here, number 10. Fort King still holding on to that lead, and Gaddings helps to help stretch it out. <laughs> Big factor here in the second half has just been Team Winston's scoring droughts and trouble with this zone. And there's McCorkle. He can shoot him out of the zone and does. Or probably a little early to say he shot them out of the zone, but he did take advantage of that zone, and we'll see if Court can't decide to stay with it. You know, once again, you can follow us on Twitter at Netcast Sports. If you look at your scoreboard now, you'll see at Netcast Sports our Twitter handle. We will do our best to keep you up to date with all of the games that we have going on and replays and on demand and everything else going on with Netcast Sports and AAU. Four and a half left to play. Court Kings with the ball. NC Court Kings taking on Team Winston 17 and under. Who just joining us. Back and forth battle. NC Court Kings has had a lead most of the second half here. The greatest shot is short. Good defense there by Team Winston. Now Matty Edwards decides to keep it. Gets it up to McCall Seal, Michal Seals. He's directing traffic, gets it over to Charles Norman. McCorkle on the outside, another shot for Jay McCorkle. I don't want to say I told you so, but I am. I did tell you McCorkle is a deep threat. Score inside by the Court Kings. And the stoppage of play. Oh. 
So if you look at your, look at your scoreboard right now, 58 to 57 in favor of the NC Court Kings one point lead. Netcastsports.com is the place where you can watch all of the replays, all the action, and keep up with everything we're doing, our upcoming schedule and everything. But I always like to tell people it's always good to follow Netcast Sports on Twitter if possible, simply because with, with AAU, it's just not easy to know who is going to play when. That's just the reality of it. Teams win, teams lose, meaning, uh, yes, teams win and lose in basketball. Yes, I'm aware of that. But the reality is, if you lose an AAU in the tournament, you might be done. Whereas if you win, you might be playing a game you didn't realize. And so you might not know you're about to. You could have an opportunity to see a couple of teams. So like this is day three action we're bringing you today. And, and Team Winston and NC Corkings had no idea they would be playing at this time unless they won. And so if you follow Netcast Sports, a lot of times you can get not only up, keep up with the games that are going to be broadcast and when they're coming on, but also replays. Big shot on the outside there by Charles Seals. Nobody was going to check him. He took advantage of it. So just over three to play now, and Team Winston has come back and taken the lead. There's Seals playing some defense. He and Pruitt, they've, they've moved away from that, moved away from that uh, trap, or I'm sorry, that, that zone. And we're going the other way, and Team Winston has to be happy now. They've taken the lead by two. Three minutes left to go. And their defense is paying dividends. And at the first half, if I have to say, the spark of the first half was... The spark of the first half was um, Chris Freeman. Spark of the sec second half has to be Jay McCorkle. And now Freeman and McCorkle both in at the same time. And you've had some solid play from a Charles Seals on Team Winston and a Kai Pruitt. And meanwhile, on the other side, you, you've got solid play from Lacey Gatherings. Lacey Gatherings, Jalen Wall has been active. And uh, the big play, also big play for NC Court Kings from Maridas Gidratis. He's got the ball right now, driving, slicing up, and no good rebound by Pruitt. Chris Freeman from the outside rattles that one in. I believe he got that assist from McCorkle, so I was giving the first half MVP over to Chris Freeman, and I'm giving the second half MVP over to McCorkle, and now there's a little battle over who actually is going to get that second half MVP, which is an unofficial stat that I'm giving out right now. But there's McCorkle with the steal. But right now, Team Winston, they just want to they just want to play lockdown defense, close this thing out, whereas NC Court Kings, they've got to find some. Now, they're the ones struggling to find offense, which is not what was the case earlier. They had a lead most of this half, and they drive, slice, big block there by Akai Pruitt. And now here's Seals, sure-handed guard. Drives, pulls it back out. Let's see what he wants. He doesn't want to give it up right away, but there's going to be a foul. And Team Winston is starting to feel it with a minute 34 left here to go. And that sends Charles to the line. First shot is good for Charles Seals. Second shot good for Seals. Gaddins feeding Gadratis inside. Gadratis turns, draws the foul. I believe that foul is going to be called on Chris Freeman. Hey, hey, 
Court Kings, this is a this is a big help for them. The clock is stopped. Gudredis at the line, but only went one of two from the line there. And now Team Winston facing the full court of NC Court Kings, but they're able to break that press, get it up to Charles Norman. Now here's Seals. Seals can break the press with the dribble, and that's exactly what he does, split to the two defenders. Watching the 2015 Phenom Hoops Challenge coming to you live from Greensboro, North Carolina, from being played at Prolific Park. Three day tournament here, first weekend of the 2015 NCAA Live period, which of course means that there are many college coaches here in the building watching. Several of the players you're watching today on both of these teams. About a minute 18 left here. Team Winston with the lead. Had to, had to climb back in after that scoring drought. Really sparked by the shooting of Jay McCorkle in the second half. And Charles Seals decides to keep it, break the press. Gets it up and then it's stolen away. And... Oh, that's not... That referee is having to apologize. He accidentally blew the whistle. That is, that is not something that anybody can be happy about, even though he's admitting his mistake. You have a breakaway. <laughs> I, have to, I have to agree with the players. <laughs> I mean, at least the referee admitted it. I have to give him that. Gudredis step back. I think they would have given him the three, even though I, he may have had a foot over. Uh-oh, here's Pruitt. He has to he has to gather it. And then, uh, unfortunately, almost an empty trip here to see what Freeman can do, and he's going to draw the foul. So Pruitt had a couple of cracks at it. And then eventually... Freeman got the ball and was able to draw the foul, and he's going back to the line. Chris Freeman, the junior from R.J. Reynolds High School, six foot three. Big spark in the first half, and has had some nice plays in the second half, including this one. And now he's stretching that lead out. Seven point difference. And that makes it a four possession game. Or three possession, I guess, gets the game, I guess, if you want to count three pointers. So, but the big difference adds a possession. It's looked good shooting the, shooting the ball from the free throw line today. And Freeman immediately comes out from mounts. 49.6 seconds left in this one. Team Winston with a good lead here. They don't want to foul, they just want to play solid defense. Another big block by Akai Pruitt. Six foot seven, Akai Pruitt, number 10. There's Gaddings working against Jay McCorkle. Gaddings up over the top, no good. Good defense by McCorkle. And now there's Seals. About a half a minute left to go here. Anyway, you've been watching the Phenom Hoops Challenge here from Greensboro, North Carolina, and I'm not trying to wrap the game up too early here, but about a half minute left here. Left as Seals goes to the line. That might be enough to do it. Still a lot of time, though. We'll see what Court Kings are able to do to stretch this game out. The other, the other problem for the Court Kings, it's both good and bad that Winston is in the bonus and not in the one and the one. I mean, the double bonus, I mean. So now Team Winston just wants to play solid defense here. Gedredis on the outside. And that looked like it might have gone off of Gudredis, but I'm not sure about the angle I had on that one. 
Here's Gudredis. He wants to put it on the floor. Pruitt's shown he can defend against the wing, but Gudredis gets up inside. And good defense there by Pruitt. You got two shots here. Team Winston, coaches for Team Winston could not be happy about that. With the lead in 18 seconds, they say, look, just let the guy go. Or just play solid defense, and if he scores over you, then that's the way it goes. But don't stop the clock and put the guy on the line. Rebound. NC Cork well, no, no, going the other way. Team Winston now. And they want to wait. They're, well, Corkle wants to foul. See, they have no no hurry, and that's going to be it. I don't think Cork Kings are going to foul, and that is going to be the game. Team Winston is going to pull out the win. They're going to win this bracket. 69 to 59. And we appreciate everyone joining us. I've been Marcus Shockley, and thanks a lot.